Hi everyone, this is Brandon Wendell, and it's a casual Sunday. I'm in my uh, veterans shirt, my team red, white, and blue. Anyway, getting ready to do some analysis for the weekend. Figured I'd share some of that with you as I was doing it, rather than just do it alone. And let me go ahead and minimize my screen for me, so you can actually see the charts. We'll start off looking at the S&P futures. We've been making lower highs and lower lows. There's a nice prediction of this correction that occurred based on a divergence. As you can see, we had a positive divergence that led to prices rallying. However, what's happened recently in this rally is we failed to make a new high, as you can see. And not only did we fail to make a high, but when we put in this high, which is not actually confirmed yet, I'll talk about that, we could not get a, into bullish territory. We stayed pretty much right at 50, which is very bearish. So that's suggesting that the market may continue to move to the downside. Now, that would be confirmed if and when we actually break the low from Friday at 43.76 and a quarter. So keep an eye out for that low if that gets broken on Sunday or even Monday, I would expect prices to continue to move to the downside. What we can do to figure out where they're likely to go is use Fibonacci extensions from the previous impulse and correction. As you see, we had impulse, correction, and the extensions, we had one already hit at the 61.8% extension of the previous move. We didn't stop exactly there, but it was kind of the center line for all these candles. That means the next target would be 42.26, or basically duplicating the previous move. One of the things we can do also is look for confluence with multiple Fibonacci's. So using this impulse and correction, we change the color so we don't get confused. What we look for is confluence or overlapping of zones. And if we see that, then that means it's a higher probability point. Well, we don't have it right away. The first area we see confluence is right here at about 4150. That's where we're seeing it. So in the 4150 area, that would actually be my first target, with the second target being just below that. You see the confluence again, where both lines are almost identical in their price action, right around 4075. So there is a little bit of a possible bounce happening in those areas. What is interesting, when you go down to a smaller time frame, which I'll use the 240 minute chart, we can fine tune this a little bit. I'm gonna start with a fresh chart. So I erase these lines, and the first thing 